Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not neither any of these blokes, this is Profanosaurus, kicking us off in today's extravaganza. The KV-1, a very, very popular choice uh, when starting the game, even if you're not just starting the game, it's a pretty tidy tank at tier 5. It's a tier 5 Russian heavy tank, very user-friendly, and it's, a, it's one of the lines I always recommend. People just starting off in the game, start up this one, because it's, uh, it's pretty forgiving, and... Um, Profanosaurus is going to kick us off uh, in this extravaganza. Let him light it up. Did I mention this one's a bit user-friendly? You're about to see why. It's a tier 5... Russian heavy tank, okay? It's the, it's, it's, the, it's the main one, which leads to all the other Russian heavy tanks. Um, Profanosaurus has been playing this game for a while, but he's, he knows this one is an absolute absolute ripper. By, by being forgiving, I mean, if you angle like Profanosaurus is doing right now, you'll often, you'll bounce a few shots. He's playing on Ruinberg. He's in a tier five game, and uh, the enemy KV-1 just did the opposite of what uh, Profanosaurus is doing and, and exposed his side, which is why he was easily able to penetrate that shot into the side of the T5 Russian heavy tank on the enemy team uh, without risking damage to his tank. Tell me about the guns, Dewey. That's what I normally do, don't I? Around about this part of the game. Where's the cursor gone? Um, there's a number of different gun options on this tank, and you can see Profanosaurus has gone for the biggest one. Well, the bigger one, the longer one, I should say. It also is the derp option, which is high caliber, and uh, probably, who knows if it's the right thing to do. Anyway, this is the 85 mil. The 85 mil, 160 alpha damage, 120 mil of penetration. We stand at 161 with APCR, which is premium, which is not a bad, not a bad option for this tank. Now, as I mentioned, there are other, there are other options of gun. It's quite versatile, this tank, but... Um, I don't pretend to know what they all are. Maybe I should have researched it before we started this video. You can see how Profanosaurus is not only angling, but he's pretty well held down behind this rubble. And that's why the PZ-4H, which is another pretty handy tank at tier 5, is uh, having a little bit of tr trouble penetrating the KV-1. Two zips, they're down. Now, now they're only down by one as he picks up the kill on the PZ-4H. But uh, the prof is getting ready for a big carry here on Ruinberg. He's playing on the Australian server. I know he's on the Aussie server because I can see the bots on both teams. And uh, I'm guessing this one was played during the day because there's quite a few of them. Uh, the bots, as I've mentioned before on these videos on the Australian server as well as the Latin American server, uh, they're indicated by a colon at either end of their in-game name as well as... The, uh, the icon of a tank next to their name on the left and the right hand side of the screen. Two threes, the score is coming around. All three tanks that have been killed on Prof's team are all bots though, so that's 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 one good thing because they're generally not as good as, uh, as 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 real players. When I say generally, I think I'm being quite generous sometimes. He's got the back of the enemy KV-1. The enemy KV-1 is not even conscious that he's being shot and and if he had to turn around and angled, he might have gotten away with it. Finds the Leopard, auto-aims on the Leopard, and see what I mean by forgiving the A20 is shooting Prof from behind. Now, generally from behind is the easiest way to get penetrated. That probably sounds wrong, but it's true. Uh, most weak points on a tank are at the back, on pretty much any tank. In fact, in fact, I think every tank in the game, the back is, is weaker, so easy to pen. But even from the back, the A20 at tier 5 as well, was having trouble penetrating the back of the KV-1. This is what I mean. User-friendly, quite forgiving. If you get yourself into a poor position, you can often recover. The T-34, you know what the T-34 is doing there? He auto-aims and shoots, doesn't penetrate the tier 5 Russian medium tank. Something about Russian tanks, they seem to have a bit of armour. And um, the T-34 gets the kill on the PZ-34. Prof coming around to get revenge on his little friend, but the T-34 is always going to be quicker than the KV-1, but I think when he gets around this corner, we might see... Um, you see, the T-34 angled quite well as well, but it's a medium tank, not a heavy tank. And uh, the Prof just bouncing, just bouncing shots from the Excelsior, also from the T-34, uh, no problems whatsoever. They're winning 5-4 now, not too bad. Three kills, 1,728 hit points of damage done so far. Now, that's not a bad score in itself, 1,000. 728 hit points of damage at tier 5. Not sure why he auto-aimed, but he did. 
didn't quite land the side of the Excelsior, but he did uh, he did bounce a shot from the return. The loser T34 elsewhere in the game puts another one into the Excelsior, and he's looking pretty good for a mission as well. He's on mission number 12 for the Stug. Uh, sturdy armor. He needs to bounce 910 hit points, which he's already done. He needs to do 500 hit points of damage, which he's already done. If he wins and survives, he'll get this mission with honors. Uh, nothing wrong with that. We love missions here at Get On Board Studios, that's for sure. Profanosaurus from PBFG Clan. I've known this bloke for a while. He's a, he's a legend on the forum. Sorry about that. And um, <laughs> it's coming around now. Looking at the T50, the T50 at T5, the Light tank? I'm going to guess. I don't know. I think so. Goes around the corner, finds a couple of more likely lads. The GR1 was going to be his first victim, but he gets taken out by the IKV. Instead, going for the A20, shoots him once, shoots him twice, picks up his fourth kill, and that brings the score up to 7-5. 2,144 hit points of damage done so far. That is a pretty tidy score, but there's still four enemy tank left, and he'll be hungry. He won't be satisfied with 2,144 hit points of damage. He'll be saying, oh, I want more, more, more. Yes, more. He's got the APCR rounds loaded for the Excelsior. He doesn't want to um, fail to penetrate like he did earlier on the Tier 5 British preferential matchmaking heavy tank. And uh, puts a few into him, puts another one. That's a kill. That's his fifth kill. And now he's only one kill away from a top gun. The score is 8 6. Profanosaurus from PBFG. The Flaming Galars clan. On 2,651 hit points of damage. 1,085 damage blocked by armor. That's more than the hit points of his tank. He only brought 910 hit points into this game. He's blocked more than that. And uh, the, T, the T50, or T50 does penetrate him for 60 hit points, but who cares when he's still got 500 up his sleeves? He leaves the, leaves the auto AMR on. W keys all the way to the T50. And uh, that's the top gun. That's his sixth kill. And that just leaves two enemy tanks. The Wolverine, which hasn't been spotted this game. And the T-67, which has been spotted down there at K-1. But um, he's already got a couple of kills. Now, they're both not real players. They're both bots this one. The prof just gets spotted here. As he finds the Wolverine, auto aims again, shoots. Takes him down to 56 hit points. The friendly Wolverine tidies up the enemy American tank destroyer. And that just leaves the T-67 as he rolls in towards the cap. He's got high explosive ammunition loaded here. Now, HE is an option against some of these lightly armored tanks. He'll get the alpha damage up to 260 compared to 160 if he manages to penetrate the shot. And uh, penetrating uh, Wolverines and T-67s with HE is definitely not impossible. Now, watch this. <laughs> he sits in the cap thinking, well... I don't think I've got the speed compared to the Wolverine and the IKV-103. The downside of the KV-1, if you like, bang! Friendly Artie shoots him, tries to get him to not cap. Not very nice. Anyway, it happens. It's happened to us all. 10-6 to score, there are two on cap. And um, the T-67 finally gets spotted, so... Profanosaurus says I'll have myself a bit of that action. No problems whatsoever. 10-6 to score. The T-67's gone down to 155. The T-67 kills the IKV-103. T-67's not a real player, mind you, on three kills. And uh, Prof says, no worry. I'll grab the seventh kill, if that's okay. And we'll call that one a win. Not just a win, but uh, we'll also call it an ace tanker mastery badge. First mark of excellence. Oh, I forgot about the mark of excellence. He got the mask of excellence on the KV-1. He also picked up an ace tanker, which is always... Always good to see. Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Bruiser for doing some internal module crew member damage. Duelist, five for effect. Shell proof. You got the steel wall for blocking more hits. At least 11 of any other player of his team. Over 1,000 hit points of damage. Well, we saw that happen live as he was as he was playing it on Ruinberg. And uh, he also got, uh, what was the other one? The high caliber and the top gun as we move over to the page two. 1,561 base experience in that game. Seven kills, 3,419 hit points of damage. Now, that's just to point out, everyone else who scored well in that game was in the 1,000 mark. 1,400 for the IKV, we had a pretty good game. 1,100 and 1,200 for the two top scores on the enemy team. Funny that one of them was a bot, but that's what you get. He fired 29 shots, 25 hit, 21 pen. There was some HE action in there as well. He blocked 1,155, and um, he damaged 10 out of the seven tanks on the enemy team. Did he make credits? Hell yeah, even with the standard account. 34, nearly 35,000 credits. That's after tax in that nine and a half minute game. Now, it must be said, it must be said in that game, the, um, that's not a premium tank. That's a standard tank. 
that's a standard tank. It's not a it's not it's not a premium tank at all. So it's pretty not only um, friendly to newer players, just by angling and um, shooting well, you you block a lot of shots, and that, that's what I mean by being friendly to the newer player and um, forgiving. If you get yourself into a poor position, you can often block shots. Sometimes even from behind. Not a bad tank if you're new to the game. It's a line I recommend you get you get up. Anyway, this is an extravaganza four replays for the price of one. Let's move on to game number two. The game number two is ranked battles. Now, this won't be for the new player. This is more for the uh, the experienced player. Tier 10. 10 versus 10. Uh, ranked battles. If you score well, you rank, you get chevrons. You rank up, you get really cool rewards, and um, including premium tanks, bonds, um, tokens to get more premium tanks. This is Lasai. Lasai from 1AR Clan, the best player in the universe. Currently recruiting. Drop us a message on Discord if you're interested in joining. Great bunch of people. Doing Clan Wars, advances, all that jazz, and uh, shenanigans on a Saturday night, which is always well worth getting on board. Besides in the STB1, now the STB1 is a pretty popular choice uh, for uh, rank battles. It's probably because it's a good tank, especially if you like medium tanks. It's um, He's got the cool camo, or the cool style, I should say, which which come out um, not so long ago. There's the super cop, gets him into the side of the turret to open his account for the ballot. Now listen, with rank battles, you're going to get some premium ammunition spam, right? This has got the 105mm gun, 360 alpha, 258 pen with standard, 330 with heat, which is premium in this tank. And um, you want to, every shot wants to count in rank. The higher you get, the higher you score, the more chevrons you get, the more you advance through the ranks, and the more cool stuff you get. This is not a guide on rank battles. This is just this is just a simple replay. Zero, zero to score. Blue side from 1AR in the STB1. Playing around on this ridge line, trying to get around these other tanks. A little bit of little bit of traffic. That's all right. We, we love traffic here at Get On Board Studios. Moving left and right, getting around him, saying, well, what are we going to do here? Trying to make, trying to work out how he's going to make his move in this battle. Get Cops one from the Super Conk. He already shot the Super Conk for, for 400 hit points not too long ago. Super Conk returns the shot for 399. Zero one one is the score. They've already lost one of the STB ones. And you can see on both teams a number of STB ones, another a number of Super Conks, and um, a couple of Cran Wagons as well. They're probably the three tanks you see the most. Crannies, Super Conks, and STB ones. Occasionally others, but um, when I was doing it, you can see heaps of them, especially Cran Wagons. Anyway, 1-1's one, the score. It's just sort of being patient here on the ridge line of Westfield. Is it Westfield? Yes, of course it's Westfield. Puts one into the side, kills the T-57 heavy tank to uh, even the score up at 2-2 and uh, brings his damage up to 665. Playing this ridge line, he wants to, he want, you know, you want to get the damage out, but you don't want to lose too many hit points, especially early on. That's exactly what Lasai is doing here. Sees the side of the Super Conk again, says Yule Beauty, brings the damage up to 1386. As mentioned, you get, um, you get points for kills, you get points for damage, or you score, same as XP, I guess. It's another kill on the Super Conk, and of course, you get... If you win, then, um, sorry, if you lose, only the leading, only the person with the top score gets a chevron. If you win, um, most get a chevron, but no one loses one. If you if you lose, then um, the bottom half lose a chevron. And it's a ranking system. As you go up, your score goes up, you progress through the ranks, you get cool stuff, bonds, tanks, all that kind of shit. It's great. 6 5 the score. I really enjoy the 10 versus 10, though. The 10 versus 10 is a lot more um, you get a lot more reward for the good plays, I guess you could say. Not that I'm an expert in ranks. Lee Sai, though, on two kills, 3,385 hit points of damage. He's kept that STB guns singing as he comes around looking to grab the kill on the Super Conk, and he does. And that just leaves two enemy tanks. The Batchat and the STB-1 uh, both haven't been seen for some time. 3,699 hit points of damage done. 440 damage blocked by armor. He's looking, looking, looking at the STB-1. 1,558 um, hit points left on the tank. He wants some of them, that's for sure. He wants to get over 4,000. If you can get over 4,000, you a pretty good chance of being in the top couple. If you're in the, even the, if you're in the top couple, you get double chevrons on a win, which is um, that's what everybody wants. The super Conk and the bat chat having a bit of a brawl there. Looks like the uh, the bat chat on 244 uh, hit points. That should be a one shot. It is. That brings his damage up to just under 4,000. Four kills though. Confident that's going to be a top score with four kills. Nine six 
the score now. Just the one tank remain. Two tanks are capping. They know that they're too far out of the fight to get any more damage. I mean, they're probably low hit points as well. They are. The 60 TP and the STB1. Lesido loses his commander. Looks towards the enemy STB on 1196 hit points. Lesido on 422. A high roll could kill him from the STB1. And the STB1 looks like he's going to be going for it. Oh, low rolls. <laughs> Lesai gets to gets to stay alive and put another shot into him. But now he gets done. <laughs> oh, he gets done by the STB1. But with three seconds left on his cap, his teammates are going to cap it out for him. And it's going to be a good win. Nine to seven ranked battles on Westfield. Tell me what you think. Do you like ranked? Do you think the 10 versus 10 is better? In the end, the STB goes down to the WZ, triple one, five A. And um, Lucy picks up a nice, tidy win on on Westfield. It says here that he got one Chevron. It would have been two because um, he was top score. Top score comfortably with 4,648 hit points of damage. Four kills, 1,186 base experience. He fired 19 shots, 18 hit and 14 penetrated. 4,648 damage. He blocked a bit. Didn't get any assisted damage, but who cares? And of course, even with boosters running, it still costs you some credits when you run the full premium ammunition, which is sort of the nature of ranked. You, you, you want every shot to count. You want to make sure you're up there at the top uh, half of the of the scoreboard. And if you're, if you're lucky enough to be in the top two, you'll get double chevrons and move through those ranks quicker. If you're after a guide on um, ranked, this is not it. Google it. There's plenty out there. And um, the rewards, there's some good rewards out there this season. That's why I'm playing them. And I think the 10 versus 10 is a hell of a lot more um, user-friendly. Here we are for game number three. We're on Manaheim line, this time with Huntsman. Huntsman from Fitty Clan and is in Chaffee. The Chaffee is the tier five American light tank. Have a look at it. it <laughs> I just think they look funny. They look pretty cool. Uh, this tank, when I first started playing this game, this tank used to see tier tens. That's right. It was still a tier five light tank, but you'd see tier tens in it. Now, um, Huntsman from Fitty Clan is on Manaheim line and he's gone into this. This is a pretty good spotting position here. Getting up, if you get in the south of Manaheim line, get into this bush and you can often see the heavy tanks crossing in the north. And he did. He spotted the KV-1, 2T-1 heavy tanks in a platoon and also the P... What was it? The P-43 up there. He might have seen the enemy Chaffee, but I think the T-50 might have seen him. The Chaffee is, as mentioned, it's a tier 5 American light tank. He's spotting tanks like an absolute champion here. Wants some assisted damage, though, because he wants marks of excellence. That's what it's all about. He's already got one mark of excellence, which he might have seen on his gun barrel on the way to this bush. Um, and, of course, marks of excellence is a combination of the damage you do, plus uh, either you're spotting or you're, or you're tracked damage. Uh, as far as assisted damage goes. Well, he spotted some tanks here. Didn't get, didn't get, didn't get any damage. Didn't get any assisted damage out of it. But uh, he'll think, oh, well, I'll, um, I'll do the damage myself. Shoots shoots the uh, T-150 once. I reckon he might have got him again there as the uh, as the T-50, the T-5 Russian light tank went out of view. Now, this is on the Aussie server as well because there's a couple of bots there. And uh, that T-50 was one of them. One one's a score as the, uh, the T-50 on Huntsman's team goes down. Uh, but the Chaffee on the enemy team went down as well. They were both not real players. So they were just bots to make up the numbers. Bots make up the numbers on the Australian server as well as the Latin American server, as mentioned in the Profs game on Ruin, Ruin? Siegfried Line. I think it was Siegfried Line. Are you sure? Yeah, I am. Anyway, this is Huntsman. Huntsman from Fiddy on the Manaheim line. That's what I was confused. Too many lines. Put me back at school. 1-1 one, one the score. There is the T-25. The PZ T-25, the T-5 German medium tank. Premium? Yeah, I think so. But um, Huntsman, after a bit of a slow start, he's done some good spotting for his team, though. He spotted those tanks, the heavy tanks crossing in the northeast. Um, just waiting for his opportunity. He's only got one shot of damage off so far, so now's probably a good time to talk about the gun. You can see he's got APCR rounds loaded. As mentioned, chasing marks, that's what you do. APCR, APCR round, which is premium 
on this 75 millimeter gun 110 alpha damage uh, 143 mil of penetration with premium only 96 with standard armor piercing rounds that's a big difference that's like a 50 percent difference he's also got the coca-cola running as a premium consumable and that's going to help with all his crew skills his vision his camouflage his rate of fire his aim time all that kind of stuff and um for a little bit of good luck he's got santa and his reindeers on the back of his tank which um well why wouldn't you 4-4 four, four is the score. Huntsman from Fitty Clan in the Chaffee. The T5 American Light Tank. Now, just like the KV-1, this is a this is a standard tank. It's not a premium tank. You don't need a pre, you don't need to spend money to get this bad boy. He's keeping eyes on that T1 heavy tank as he comes up, pushing in towards the other Chaffee, which is now dead. Two shots to go to kill the... Uh, he gets the kill on the T1 Heavy tank. After that, now he wants to focus on the other one. There's a T1 Heavy and a T34. T34, he decides is the bigger threat, so he starts shooting the T34. Probably uh, to make sure he gets value for money out of all these shots. That shot doesn't hit the T1 Heavy. Not sure if auto-aiming is the right thing to do against the T1 Heavy and the KV-1. That's why, he's, that's why he's bounced a couple of those shots despite firing premium at those tanks. And uh, he's penning now, penning into the T1 Heavy tank. Now looking at the KV-1. He's, he got, he's going left to right. Not sure why. Probably looking for whoever's more likely to get through. Wants to focus fire the T1, get rid of that tank, and then uh, they'll be in for a chance of winning this game. They're down by two tanks right now, but now they're only down by one. As Huntman picks up his second kill, brings his damage up to 1,217. Speaking of assisted damage, he's already done 572 assisted damage. Now he's moving up to the next push, looking towards the OI Experimental. But there's that PZT25 again be thinking, hang on, we've got to get rid of this PZT-25. The fact that the KV-1 is back there tells me he's probably, possibly, not the most proficient player. Who knows? Or maybe he's just nervous. The uh, the enemy team did push that southeast quite aggressively. Huntsman shoots and tracks the KV-1, hoping somebody else will do the same. Shoots him again, sets him on fire, burns to death. That evens the scoreboard up at seven apiece, but now he's spotted. The, the OI Experimental shoots towards where Huntsman was, but um, the shot was a, a little bit out of whack. The PZT25 has got to be his next target, surely. The Stug is coming down to help, and uh, Huntsman using this like a flanking tank to get behind the PZT25. Switches to standard ammunition, which is the right thing to do. Sets him on fire! That's the way to do it, to get that. <laughs> get the damage. How many fires? That's two fires in one. Nothing wrong with that. Is that a mission? Two fires? No, no missions in this one. That is a mission, though, to get two fires in one game. Well, it used to be. I'm not sure. It might have changed. Um, but there's... There's... Um, it's an even scoreboard again. 8-8 eight, eight is the score. Three kills to Huntsman. Huntsman's carrying this game on his own if he has to. The Stug not too happy with the KV-1. KV-1 staying there behind that rock. The North is looking okay. The VK-30 and H, the Wolverine and the Covenator in the North all looking like they're doing quite well, getting rid of the Wolverine. And now it looks like they have a numerical advantage in the North. Uh, enemy shoots the KV-1 with artillery. And uh, Huntsman will be saying, oh, you be, I want the side. Another fire! Get out of here. <laughs> That's what you're killing me. Gets the kill shot as well on the OI Experimental. <laughs> this tank is on fire. Um, gets the kill on the OI Experimental. And uh, that brings the score up to 10-8. Pings the help keys going after the enemy Chaffee now. Back to the standard armor piercing rounds. Good management of his of his bullets here, which is the right thing to do. Shoots the Chaffee. Now if this Chaffee gets set on fire, I'll be I'll be calling hacks, that's for sure. Looking he get he gets one into the Chaffee. Shoots the Chaffee again. He's, he's got is he winning on hit points? Only just. Only just winning on hit points. Okay, that's five kills. Five kills to Huntsman from Fitty Clan in the Chaffee. Looking, looking, looking. He's turned it. Remember, they were down by a few tanks not so long ago. They were definitely down, and now they're not. Now they're winning. They're winning 11 9. Uh, two tanks two tanks have been spotted in the north. The DSPZ. Ah, the tier 5 Polish thing up there in the north, along with the T-34. Huntsman making a dank flanking manoeuvre here, getting getting around and um, moving 
to try to get side shots, which is exactly what he's trying to do. One in the side of the T-34. Now here, co here comes the... That one goes a little bit high, but that's okay. 12-10 the score now as the VK-30 ONH goes down to the Russian artillery on the enemy team. Five kills, 2,924 hit points of damage. Gets one into the T-34, two, oh, the second one misses. Auto Ames gets him that time. Now he's down to standard ammunition only, but it doesn't matter because the T-34 has just been taken out. And the SU-122A as well as the Stug probably aren't going to be too challenging to penetrate. 3,028 hit points of damage done. Five kills for Huntsman. He wants a top gun now. He's got to. you got to have a top gun. The Stug gets spotted up there in the north. Somebody pings where the artillery might be. 1310, he's going to say, no, no, I'm going to go this way. We'll quicken it up as he goes round to make another dank flanking manoeuvre. Coming around, looking for the Stug. Looking for the back of the Stug with his standard rounds. Get shots even. Remember we talked about the backs of the tanks in the uh, in the KV-1 battle. The backs of the tanks are always... The backs of the tanks are all, always the, um, the weakest spot, if you like. Sides aren't too bad either. Shoot, so he's... He wants to stay away from the gun of the Stug. The Stug gets him for 149. If the Stug gets him again, he'll be dead. Puts another one into the Stug. He's just not fast enough to get... It needs to be tracking the Stug, but it's just not happening. Bounces. That should have been a kill shot on the Stug. This will be it. It is. <laughs> That's the top gun. And um, he's not going to be happy with the top gun. He wants He wants some... He wants some arty action. And I can't say I blame him. Puts one into the artillery for good measure. And that's a win. 15 to 10. And an absolute carry by Huntsman from Fitty Clan. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the result. Because why don't you? That was the second mark of excellence game. I did mention marks of excellence uh, at the beginning of that game. That was his second mark. Uh, an ace taker mastery badge. Bruiser medal. Arsonist for setting a vehicle on fire. Was it three? Was it three tanks on fire in the end? We also got Duelist, Fire for Effect, High Calibre, and the Top Gun. Nothing wrong with that performance on Mannerheim line. Um, nothing wrong with that performance at all. As we look at the page two, 3,694 hit points of damage, six kills, 1,786 base experience. He fired 47 shots, 44 hit, 33 went through. There was a few that missed um, as he was driving around auto aiming and stuffing around but you, you, you're going to get that you're not always you're not going to penetrate every single shot every single game are you that's just that's just what happens um that's just what happens um he carried that one 3694 damage and six skills compared to the guy who came second who had a pretty good game with 1100 um carried the hell out of it do you make credits hell no even with battle payments going or boosters Still costing 21,000 credits. That's after tax with a premium account in that 10-minute game. He was firing a lot of APCR. It looks like he was paying full price for premium consumables. But that's what you've got to do if you're going for marks of excellence. And if he keeps playing like that, then um, Huntsman, you'll, you'll, have, you'll have a third mark. No problems whatsoever. Um, very, very soon indeed. Let's move on to game number four. Now, he said three. Now, this bloke is an absolute gentleman. I've met this guy in real life. He's an ace tanker. <laughs> He's an ace tanker. He's a nice bloke. Executive officer of 1AR clan. Absolute gentleman. Von the Burglar in the ISU 130. Now, the ISU 130 is the tier 8 premium Russian tank destroyer. It's premium? Yeah. It is. Anyway, a bit of argy bargy on the way up to the hill. That's all right. There's always a traffic jam in certain places on certain maps. And, um,. One's no dummy when it comes to these tanks. The ISU 130. There's something about it which is odd. I'm not sure. Uh, the gun, 130 millimeter gun, 490 alpha damage, 238 mil of penetration. Now that's that's what's odd about it. The gun, 490 alpha, 238 penetration. Now I think that's. I'm not sure which one's standard, which one's premium, because the next one is 570 alpha. 212 penetration so it's less pen for more damage and this one's more pen for slightly less damage that's the that's the difference there's also an he option like there is with most tanks one the burger is on red shire is into i guess what you might say a, a normal-ish tank destroyer position getting ready to shoot stuff you got the camera net and the binos ready to rock and roll and um that this looks oh that looks like a juicy oh that'll be that'll be nice gets 
this gets the side of the AMX M4 49L, the Liberty tank, for 501 hit points. Was that a high? Uh, no, it's slightly high roll. Is he on a mission? Yes, he is. He's definitely. He's always on a mission. Don't worry about that one. He's, he's always on. He's on a mission for the Object 260. TD number 11, be top player. Gets the side of the Skoda T56. Now, this would have been when the Skoda T56s first came um, into the game, the premium tank. Haven't been out that long. So he's on a mission for the 260. Uh, TD number 11, he wants to be top. He wants to survive the battle, and he wants to do at least 4,000 hit points of damage. He's already got 1,000, and um, this one's about a sister damage. Probably won't do much for that one. Not sure where that bullet went, because the J-Panther just went unspotted as um, Von the Burglar pulled the trigger. 0-0 uh, zero, zero the score on Red Shot. Now, this is going to be a little bit different to Huntsman's game. Huntsman's game was... Oh, it was a slow start, I guess. And buzzing around in a chaffee is a lot different to kicking back in the ISU 130. Uh, waiting for big explosions to happen, which um, we love big explosions at 1AR. Did I mention Von's in 1AR? He's an XO, he's an absolute gentleman. If you want to join the clan, let me know. Let Von know. Let any of the officers know. We are recruiting. Uh, clan Wars. Oh, the GW Panthers up. Clan Wars advances, platoons, guarantee good times, and 1AR shenanigans on a Saturday night. Occasionally a Sunday. Depends, depends what's on. And, um, yeah. Four twos to score. We're on red shy. Four twos to score. We're on red shy. The Udes is getting uh, a bit of attention by the Barask and a few light tanks, a few heavies in the east. Uh, Von the Burglar saying, "Radio, I can't shoot the Udes. A little bit out of render range. Looks there towards the Tiger P. Is, has he got shots on the Tiger P? He's the Tiger P is in that sort of that trench. He's moving the moving the." Um, cursor around as you do well, here we go oh again he goes unspotted as he pulls the trigger so remember it doesn't matter though we'll find out at the end of the game how these blind shots went he needs 4,000 damage and he wants to survive uh, he's already done 1,028 that we know of there's two shots that we're, we don't know of the, the shot in the general direction of the J Panther up in the north we're not sure if that if that went through, this will be... Oh, just misses the LPC. A little person's club. Is that what it stands for? No. The, t the TL1 LPC. The little person's club. The, 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 pretty fry, the pretty fly for a white guy tank. The offspring tank. Looking towards... There he is. Go. That's better. Another 501. Another 501 damage. Into the side of the T1L... Piece. That's the TL1 LPC. Sorry, it's been a big day. 5-2 the score. Von the Burglar from 1AR Clan. Looking pretty good at 5-2. Remember, he needs to survive. He wants, he wants to win this with honours, so he wants to survive. Top by damage cause, and it has to be at least 4,000 hit points. There are two shots that we're not sure of. One that may have hit the Tiger P, and the Tiger P has lost a little bit of health, so that could be it. But um, there's also the shot in towards the JP in the north, the Jag Panther in the north. Anyway, 5-3 the score, Von the Burglar from 1AR, looking for shots. The Barras and the T28 HDC in the southwest. I'm not sure what they're doing. Um, who knows? There's a, the Barras are both in a platoon, but one's all the way to the north and one's all the way to the south, which is a little bit odd. Normally when you're in a platoon of Barasks, or, or a platoon of any medium tank, really, you, the idea would be to to play as a as a pack. As Von pops one into the side of a Leo for another 483 hit points, brings his damage up above 2,000, so he's more than halfway. Uh, not counting those two blind shots, remember, um, to his 4,000. His goal of being for not only 4,000 hit points of damage, but he needs to be top score. Finds the setup. And we, oh shit! Hang on. We don't we don't want to get look out. He bounces the Barras. Shoots and kills a brass. Lou gets a damage ammo rack. The Crusader gets friendly artillery, hits him, but I think the friendly artillery was trying to help get rid of the setter. Needs to fix his ammo rack pronto, but uh, he doesn't want to um, get into a position where he might be might be tracked. Looking towards the Udez. Oh, there's a pixel. There's a pixel on the Udez. That'll do it. No problems. Picks up the kill on the tier 8 
flat pack tank, the IKEA tank, the Swedish tank destroyer, brings the score up to 9-4, and his damage up to 2,496. Waiting, waiting, there's the Tiger P again, shoots and kills the Tiger P for 499, brings his damage up to 2,995, remember he's on a mission for 4,000 hit points of damage, and top by, top by damage cause at least 4,000, he also needs to survive, so he needs to be aggressive enough to get some more damage, but not aggressive enough to get killed, of course that's for honours, he might be happy to get it without honours, but I, one's a pretty thorough kind of, oh unlucky, Unlucky with the pretty fly tank. Shoots, it, it did hit him, but it didn't go through. 13-5 the score, there are two enemy tanks remaining. The Leo, who's already shot one. The Leo's gone back to the red line. 2,995 hit points of damage done so far. He needs to get 4K and be top to get this mission. There's a TL1 LPC coming um, down towards the trench. He's only on 36 hit points, but 36 hit points, it all counts, right? This will be it, gets the kill on the tier 8 American medium tank, which is a pretty tidy tank between between us friends. Where's the Leo on 481? Not enough hit points to get this mission, and uh, especially now that he's dead, but it's all gonna come down to whether or not those blind shots went through. So the game says 3,031. Let's have a look at the result and the result will tell us or the heading might tell us that he might have got it but you never know the tier 8 russian premium tank destroyer the isu 130 the one with the one with the two kinds of ammunition um one's got higher alpha and one's got lower alpha and different amounts of pen as well which is a little bit different to, and it's a direction that people thought wargaming might go with premium ammunition you know more pen for less alpha or vice versa but it doesn't seem to have happened. But it's happened with a couple of tanks, and the ISU-130 is one of them. That's why I thought the ISU-130 is a little bit different. He got the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. He also got the Fighter Medal. Fire for effect, 25 bonds for those kills. High Calibre and uh, the Sniper Medal. And yes, he got 4,092 hit points of damage, and which was definitely top by that one. Uh, the guy who came second got 1,500. There's nothing. I don't know that one. We love a good mission replay at Get On Board Studio. So if you've got one, just reach out on Discord. Link down below. 4,092 hit points of damage done. Four kills, 1,178. Base experience. He fired 11 shots. They all hit and 10 penned. So they, both blind shots went through because there was that one shot that didn't pen the T, the TL, what's it called? The one that I can't get right. The TL1 LPC. The Little People's Club. The, that's, was the oh, should have we all know it should have went through but it didn't anyway but um great work fine on the mission we love a good mission and um did he make credits hell yeah he made sixty one thousand credits that's after tax with a premium account in that eight minute game despite paying full price for consumables um von the burglar absolute gentleman great work on the missions um it's something i need to focus on again pretty soon I think this has been an extravaganza Saturday morning extravaganza at Get On Board Studios. Von the Burglar from 1AR. We are recruiting. Yell out. Uh, Huntsman from Fiddy in the Chaffee on the second mark of excellence. He'll have, he'll have a third mark on that before this video goes out. In fact, I guarantee it. I, I, I don't guarantee it, but I reckon he will have. Um, by the time this video comes out, uh, there'll be three marks of excellence on that Chaffee. Lee Sai storming up the ranks in rank battles in the STB and my old mate Profanosaurus in the KV-1. One of the more, one of the tanks I like to recommend to newer players um, because it is a little bit forgiving and it leads to a lot of other good tanks as well. If you've liked this, um, if you've liked this video, consider subscribing and getting on board. It's free and it really helps out the channel and um, click on the bell and you won't miss a video. It's amazing. We're also on Twitch. We stream live on Twitch um, a few nights a week and sometimes on the World of Tanks ANZ channel as well. So um, check us out there. That's the link. Link's down below. A massive thanks for all the replays. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.